The butterfly is one of nature's most amazing creatures. It starts its life as one animal and then, through a series of changes or stages, becomes something totally different. This change is called metamorphosis, and the four stages are called the life cycle. The butterfly life cycle has four stages, egg, larva, pupa, and adult. The markings on each caterpillar indicate what type of butterfly it will become. Here we see the monarch characterized by its beautiful black and orange markings. The chrysalis is mint green. Can you see the wings forming inside? In the egg stage, the adult female butterfly lays her eggs on a leaf. The eggs are small and may be round, cylindrical, or barrel-shaped. Some are even shaped like donuts that look like they have been flattened. After the baby caterpillar hatches from the egg, it eats its own eggshell. It is now called a larva and begins its journey using strong jaws to eat leaves. Caterpillar will spend most of its time eating. It takes a lot of energy to turn into a butterfly. Different caterpillars like different kinds of plants. The caterpillar eats and eats and grows and grows. He will split and shed his skin four times, a process called molting. Each time he has a brand new skin underneath. When it is time to change, the caterpillar attaches himself to a safe place hanging upside down in the shape of a letter J. He forms a hard shell around his body called the chrysalis. This is the pupa stage. Inside, an amazing change is about to take place. Soon, it is time for the butterfly to emerge. This is the adult stage. The butterfly works hard to split the chrysalis and break free. The butterfly exercises his wings to get the fluid circulating. After he rests and the wings have had time to dry, he is ready to fly away. There are 28,000 different kinds of butterflies in the world. 700 of those live in North America. The cabbage white is the most common, and the biggest is the Queen Alexandra's birdwing with a wingspan of 9.8 inches. The Painted Lady, pictured here, can be found everywhere in the world except Australia and Antarctica. Her wingspan measures 2 to 3.5 inches and her markings include black and white corners on deep orange black spotted wings. Her markings help her to effectively use camouflage. The butterfly drinks nectar from flowers through its proboscis, a long slender tube that uncoils and functions like a drinking straw. Butterflies will also sip water from puddles in order to get minerals that their body needs. This action is called puddling. Butterflies also drink liquids from fruit. Try putting out a slice of banana, an orange, or a watermelon. You can also buy special butterfly feeders and hang them in your garden to attract butterflies. The monarch is one of the most beautiful and well-known of butterflies. With its bright orange and black markings, it is easily recognizable. Monarch means a king or queen who rules a kingdom. As a result, the monarch is named as such because some people call it the king of butterflies. Although some butterflies migrate short distances, the North American monarch is the only butterfly that makes a mass migration. Every year, monarchs travel 2,500 miles from Canada to California and Mexico to hibernate for the winter. Some butterflies, like the monarch, are becoming endangered due to destruction of their habitat. One way to help the monarch is to plant milkweed in your garden. The milkweed plant is the favorite food of monarch caterpillars. The butterfly is a flying insect that has six jointed legs, two sets of wings, two sets of eyes, two antenna, a head, thorax, and abdomen. The butterfly tastes with its feet and smells with its club-shaped antenna.
Butterflies actually have two different kinds of eyes called simple and compound. The simple eyes help them see light brightness. The compound eyes are used for their main eyesight and help them to see while flying. Butterflies can see colors that humans cannot. Butterflies have wings that come in many colors. The wings are made up of scales which overlap, resulting in many beautiful color combinations and patterns. Their coloring helps them use camouflage to hide from other animals. You can create your own butterfly habitat to observe metamorphosis in action. In our class, we will be using the Insect Lore Painted Lady Butterfly Habitat which will enable us to observe and care for baby caterpillars as they grow into beautiful butterflies. You can also observe the actual butterfly life cycle by visiting a butterfly garden in your area. One example in Washington, D.C. is the Butterfly Habitat Garden at the Smithsonian Gardens. If you are lucky, one might even land on you. Butterflies can be found in every state in every country, from the tropical rainforest to a country meadow. No matter where you live, look around, see how many beautiful butterflies you can find.